good afternoon, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and they also read a page from a book of my choice. So it's been quite some time, a very long time as a matter of fact in YouTube terms. And in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the fourth short story in Haruki Murakami's first person singular. Uh, this one is titled With the Beatles. Um, it is the longest one so far, it has about 50 pages, and I rated it 2 out of 5 stars. And um, there are several reasons why I rated it so badly, I suppose, on the scale. However, um, this is the criticism I have to give about it. So I found it to be quite a dull story, considering that it is, in fact, the longest one so far. 50 pages and basically nothing of interest happens. Um, the protagonist, so... If you don't want any spoilers for this, here is a brief summary, however, um, you really won't be missing out on much if you don't ever read the story, and I believe that my summary would basically be enough. You, you really don't need to read the story if you um, listen to the coming 30 seconds. So the protagonist finds himself in a relationship and gets to know his girlfriend's older brother. It turns out that the older brother needs some company, and uh, the main character helps with this by reading him a short story. Then, um, apparently, it turns out that the brother's mental health issues are resolved regarding memory and how after a couple of um, times um, the memory begins to fade. Um, the main character, several years later, once again meets the brother randomly somewhere in Tokyo. And um, he basically is told that his um, ex-girlfriend is now dead, she committed suicide, she killed herself after getting married and had two children. Uh, Murakami here is trying to get us to feel a certain way in order to appreciate the story, uh, but for me this was a miss, absolutely, and um, the reason for this is because um, I, I dislike the emotional aspect of the story because it is so rushed and we literally don't get to see any character development in the first person narrator's girlfriend which basically makes it hard to give a fuck about her character. I mean, why should I care that she's dead? Is it because it's meant to be relatable? Is it because I'm meant to be human and feel certain emotions? Um, is it just a trick in order for us to say that we appreciated the idea or the writing? Just feels to me like it's a very, very brutal way of cheapening the, the value that life has. And um, that's why this was such a miss for me. Um, basically, the Beatles are interesting because it shows how the main character was always more interested in himself rather than the relationship, um, as is basically the girlfriend's brother at the end of the day. But um, this isn't really delved into either, and I feel as though it would have had much more potential had Murakami elaborated on this. Um, right off the bat, we are told that the, the girlfriend doesn't really like listening to the Beatles, and this... Um, concept of being a narcissist, being an eccentric person, um, is delved into within the story. However, it could have been much more of a central theme and it would have made the story more interesting. Um, but otherwise, no, we just skip into the future and um, basically we are told that what's happening um, at present is basically um, pointless, which is quite sad and um, there's also the element of gaslighting i suppose um i hope that the other stories are more interesting than this one this collection this anthology has so far been a miss for the most part um i think the the bossa nova one was very interesting um however the the other is not not as much unfortunately and you can check this out by watching the rest of my videos where i um told you my thoughts about the the short stories. Um, I feel as though there is something missing over here, uh, which I have to say. Um, maybe the concept of memory and um, the fact that while the girlfriend is still alive, her brother seems to have these um, points where he starts to miss out on what is actually going on, but the second she dies, they are apparently resolved he doesn't have this problem anymore which goes to show that um the girlfriend must have had something to do with this perhaps but anyway um i think that is all i had to say about this um moving between present and past was uh quite interesting or present and future depending on the way you see it 
Um, however, it could have been a novella much more easily and it would have been way better in my opinion. Anyway, that's all I had to say about this. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below and make sure to check out the rest of my content and help out my channel in any way you can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one hopefully very, very soon. Bye guys.